Hold it. Hello, good morning. How are you? Let me see you. Let me see you. I don't see your faces. I want to see your faces. Hello, Adriana. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. Hello, teacher. Hello, Misael. How's your sister, Adriana? Is she, is she fine? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. She's fine. Thanks, God. And the baby? Very well. How far along is your sister? Um, Seven months. Oh, almost there. You're going to be a nun. Yes. Well, thanks God, everything's fine. Yes. Welcome, can. guys. Oh, Victor, you went to the gym today? You look very strong today. <laughs> How you doing? Yes, teacher. Gabriela, yeah. Azucena, Carolina, Walter, Sergio, Yesenia, enjoy your breakfast. Melvin, Mario, how are you doing today? Hello. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Did you download the application I told you? Yes. Yes. I don't know yes. the channel. Yes, teacher. Did you travesiate it? Or not travesiate? Yes. Yeah? What you play yeah. with it? Okay. I hope it works. I hope it works because it's gonna well, I'm gonna try something today. But let me just go ahead and share my screen here. Do you see the screen? Yes. 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 All right. So today is July the 19th, 2023. If I'm not mistaken, this is like our 13th or 14th class. It's just a few more classes to go and we finish this level. By next week, by the 28th, we are going to be finishing. By the 27th or the 28th, all right? And then I hope that everybody continues. So you'll continue with the next level until you get to the advanced level and you graduate. You have to do it, guys. You have to do it. Think about your goal. Think about your objective. Think about the good things you're going to have when you speak English. El idioma, más que para entender la música en, espa en, en español. En inglés, es la mejor llave para abrir muchas puertas. Así que no se queden a medias. No se queden a medias. Termínenlo. All right. So, we're going to start right now. And we are going to talk about yesterday. Can you tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we talk about? I want you to talk, guys. I want you to speak. Come on. And be proactive. Ahora quiero que sean proactivos. No quiero estar voluntarizando. Quiero que usted me diga, me levante la mano y me diga, yo, 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 mi, 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 mi. Como que están ensayando para cantar, okay? So, tell me. Me, me teacher. Okay, Sergio. Tell me, what do you remember about yesterday? Time expression used with the future sentence. For example? For example, uh, the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Today is, what is today? Wednesday, right? So what day is the day after tomorrow? Right. Friday. Friday. It will be Friday. Friday. And the day before yesterday? Monday. 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 Good. So that's one. Another time expression for future, Melvin. Mm. Repeat, please. Give me one example of a future time expression. Um, I am eating pizza on Monday. All right, perfect. You even gave me a complete sentence. And we were using, as Melvin did, the present progressive, right? What is the structure for the present progressive? We start with subject, subject, verb to be, verb with the ing, complement, complement, time expression, time expression, both expression, future. Future, future, expression. Future, expression. Future, expression. future expression. Yes. Yeah. Right now, since we are talking about future, we add the future time expression. And what is the position at the beginning or at the end? Both. 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 Can I say 
On Monday, I'm having an English exam. Yeah. Yes. Can I say I am eating with my cousins on Sunday? Yes. 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 Right. The time. Uh, the time expression. The position of the time expression can go at the beginning or it can go at the end. Let's see, Nidalee, can you give me an example? Let's talk about the weekend. What are you doing on the weekend, during the weekend? Mm, I... <laughs> Invent. I am... Um... <laughs> Think about I it. Am... Play. Okay, okay. I'm playing soccer on the weekend. You like soccer? A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. So you're playing soccer on the weekend. How about you, Victor? What are you doing um, on Saturday? On Saturday, um, I am starting on Saturday. Yes, yeah, because uh, tomorrow I am, I am uh, uh, creating my schedule. For the class and the university, so I'm starting on Saturday too. You just you start classes on Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking about the 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 word because creating sounds a little bit weird. So it will be it's something not like correct. organizing my schedule or planning my schedule. Or planning. Uh, but you don't, you why don't actually, not? You don't actually mm -hmm. create. The things that remember creating is like making something new out of something. But in that case, you're just organizing your subjects with the times, right? So you can say, I'm organizing or planning my schedule. Uh, yes. Yeah, because I'll, I, I'll choose my my subjects and my time. And, and the time. And, and then, of, yes, yes. Okay. And, and so it's uh, organizing. Orga organizing or, plan. or organizing or planning organizing or planning i am organizing my schedule or planning my schedule yeah uh, okay thank you teacher is it strictly necessary to say or to use the verb go every time i talk about the activity no is it no. mandatory no. to say i'm going to travel I'm going to visit. No, the, uh, only the only the verb, uh, only the action that I yeah. I do. Remember the three forms. There are three future forms, right? Will, going to, and ing. First. Right now we focus on ing only. So don't put the going to. All right. I guess that most of you are here. I'm gonna take the first. Screenshot. If you're here, please turn on your cameras. Hello, hello one, hello two, hello one, two, three. Que salió, salió, que se quedó, se quedó. Here we go. Okay. Give me a second here. There we go. Okay, guys. Now. I will send this link to WhatsApp. And you please open it. WhatsApp is loading right now. Give me just a moment. So I will send you a free time activity directly to your cell phone. Como no tengo los nombres, no sé de quién voy a agarrar, pero yo se lo voy a mandar al, al número acá dentro del grupo. And what you are going to do is that we are going to play Pictionary. Have you ever played Pictionary? Never? So Pictionary, you make a drawing of something and we have to guess what the drawing is. Ustedes van a dibujar la actividad que yo les mando en la pizarrita que va a estar ahí. Y los demás, vamos a adivinar. Ahorita les mando el enlace. Yes. 
uh, you you told you told uh, a word like uh, a guess, but guess yes. is not uh, su suponer. Yes, both. Uh, suponer y I guess it's like I suppose. Uh huh. Suponer y adivinar. Or it's adivinar, like yeah. similar. Oh, yes, okay. it's the same. So do you see the 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 the, the, the whiteboard? Yes. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, so it's this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make an example. I will try to draw something here and you tell me what, what activity is it. Si me la pueden decir con la oración completa, sería mejor. O sea, como like uh I'm watching TV or we are watching TV, we are playing soccer, something like that. Okay. I do the example and then I will send it to you. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Right, so. Swimming. 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 There you go. Para que vean que la calidad de dibujante que soy. So give me the sentence. I am swimming. swimming. I am swimming. swimming in the pool. He is swimming in the pool. Very good. Now, check on your cell phones because I will send you one. And vamos a ver acá. A la garduña porque no sé quiénes son. Algunos tienen nombre y tienen foto. Hey, check on your phones. ¿A quién le cayó? ¿A quién le cayó? ¿La recibieron? Me. Ok. Turn on your camera, please. This is a tail. Now you do it. Who made that shark? <laughs> Se lo comió. The shark is eating. Here, Catherine. Did you access the application? You're on mute. ¿Pueden verlo? No. Eh, ¿No pueden verlo? No. Ay, eso es semita. Me voy a meter el celular. Ok. La verdad sí me agarra. All right. Yo 13 people connected ahorita. Dragón anónimo, cap, carpincho anónimo, calabaza anónima. Uy, es calabaza anónima. <risa> ¿Y ahora pueden ver? O sea, ¿que estoy borrando? Eh, wait. Ah, perdón, esta yes. es diapositiva. Yeah, yes. Go. Yes. Ok, Play the guitar. Play the guitar. ¿Qué le falta? ¿Qué le falta? Playing. I am playing the guitar. I am playing the guitar. Excellent, Catherine. Good job. Now, next one. Let's see. It's here. Check your cell phones. Check your cell phones. See is the lucky one. Is he here? ¿A quién le cayó? Me, teacher, Caro. Okay. So, your turn. Okay. Give me one second. Hey. You can see? Yes. You can see it, right, guys? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. What is she doing? What is she doing? Washing the dishes. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, he is washing, washing clothes. Washing clothes. Washing clothes? <clears throat> no. Oh. Keep, keep on drawing. Keep on drawing. Okay. He is oh, waking up. What? Yeah. He's cooking eggs. He's cooking. Mm. What time? Cooking. What, 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 what food? The day? Ta egg. 
Who came what? China food. Hey, food. Yeah, but what time? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, which one? Break. 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 Breakfast. He's cooking breakfast. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, Carolina. Breakfast. Eh, my breakfast. Hey, mm -hmm. get ready. Check on your cell phones, guys. I'll send another one. Message. Let's see. There, check check on the phones. Check on your phones. Who's the lucky one? Who got it? I got it. I got it. All right, Diego. Your turn. He's playing soccer. Mm. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in the park. Close, close. <laughs> He's walking. He's running. What? Running. He's Where? Running, running in the, in the park. Running in He's the park. running in the park. Very, uh, very good. Good job. He's running in the park. Now let's see. Next here. <laughs> this is this is gonna be easy. Check on your cell phones. Who got it? A quien le cayó? Me, right. teacher. Oh, okay, Gabi, your turn. Gabi? Oh, there we go. Watching He's TV. watching TV. Watching TV. But what? Watching a movie. Very good. He's <laughs> watching movies. Good. All right, here goes the next one. Check on your phones. Who got it? Me, teacher. All right, Misael, you go. Okay. Uh, he is texting. Dancing? No. Texting. Texting? No. He's shutting. Playing Not video games. Writing. Surfing in the mm, web. Mm, 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 mm. Working. All right, where? He He's working in the office. office. There you go, Mario. Very good, very good. He is working yes. in the office. Okay. Next. <laughs> that was nice. Next. Ya lo mandé. Aquí en el cachorro. Nobody. No le cayó Can nadie. I go? Can I go? Okay, Mario, go. You're going to invent one on yourself, okay? Ah. He is playing golf. He is playing golf. He is playing golf. 
Perfect. Sí. Yes. Okay. Now, who wants to go? Let's do three more. And then we'll continue. But now you. Who? Who wants to do it? I want to do it. All right, Gary. Do it again. Think about one activity and throw it. Who is who is drawing? Diego. You can see. Uh, no. Uh, no. Probably got stopped. Just tap the pen, the pen, the, the, the pen. Right now, let me see. Okay. In the second. I got, I got. Oh, you're doing Number it on two. the second. Oh, here, yeah. here. I'm sorry. You did no, it on no. the second. Oh, no. <laughs> This is not me. That's me. So, who wrote this one? I don't know. Reading the book? Reading, 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 the reading the newspaper. Newspaper. Reading the book. Who did it? Who did it? Reading the comics. He's reading comics or reading a book or whatever. He's reading, reading the newspaper. newspaper. Reading Want to do it one more time? Yeah, doing the, the first. Oh, here. Playing the basketball. He's playing basketball. Yeah. Good. Good job, guys. Good job. Did you like it? Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah, it's fine. I'm yes. glad. I'm glad you liked it. All right. So those were just some uh activities and how to use the present continuous, right? Always remember subject, verb to be, verb with ing, and the complement. Today we are going to learn or practice this. We're going to practice how to make invitations. There are three ways. Would you be interested in this whole structure plus verb in ING? Sergio, can you read the first example and complete it? Complete uh, the idea. Would well, to be interesting. Interested. interesting. Would you be? Would you be interested in? Would you be interested in coming? Where? Where? Um, Complete. Would you be interested in coming at meet my house? At my house, all right. Mm, to watch Netflix, no? Yes. <laughs> Walter, can you do the second one? Yeah. Would you be interested in going to the park with me? Where? To the park. Uh, to the park with me. Would you be interested in going to the park with me? Very good. Melvin, can you do the third one? Uh, would you be interested in reading a new book? A new book? Would you be interested in reading a new book? So that's one way. The first part is all this. Would you be interested in? And then the verb with ing, coming, going, reading, watching, and so so on and so forth. The second form is would you like? And in this case, we use the verb with the infinitive form. Ariana, can you complete the first one? Would you like to go? Would you like to go to the beach with me? Of course I would. Would you like to go to the beach with me? Diego, second one. Would you like to watch? Would you like to watch a uh, series? Well, just some series. All right. Um, Dora, the third one. Would you like to drink a refreshment with me? A drink. Okay. A drink with me. A drink with me. Very good. So you see, would you like, and then the infinitive, to, and the verb. And the third one is with let's go. 
or yeah. let's. Better say let's and the verb with the base form. Scene two. Sure. Only the verb. Yes, Mario. Yes, Mario. Um, in the uh, example, would you like to watch a series? Mm -hmm. This a uh, is necessary. The things that, as far as I remember, TV series is like with the plural form, but it's con is considered as singular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, next are some, question. there are some nouns that are considered singulars. As we were discussing with Catherine, the, the, the previous the previous class, con la palabra news, the noticias, mm -hmm. aunque sea plural la palabra, pero es considerado como un nombre singular, por eso se le pone a, mm -hmm. o, o se utiliza con la, con la conjugación is del verbo to be. So in TV the series next, is también, like singular. In the next example, would you like to drink a drink with me? Yeah. Yes. The thing is that refreshment, as far as I remember, is not actually a word. It's like we translate from, from Spanish to English, like refresco, refresh. El verbo refrescar si existe, refresh. But refresco, refreshment, según recuerdo. But let me, let me check, let me check, let me check. Uh, but yeah, you, you can drink a drink. Or you can have, or you can have a drink. We can change it. Let's go have a drink. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake, Dora. You were totally right. My mistake. I apologize. Acabo de aprender algo nuevo. Refreshment. Si existe. Very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so Mario, the second one, let's see. Let's see the movie, the Barbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will see it just for the actress. <laughs> She's beautiful. Es la del, la del Joker, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. She's beautiful. Solo por ella, I will, I will watch the movie. And the last one, Victor. Uh, let's dance uh, <laughs> in the monument. In the monument, all right. And that's about the mundo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> let's. Aquí nos pregunta. All right, so guys, these are the three forms we make an invitation. ¿Cuál es la primera? Would you, would, you be, would you be interested? Interested. 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 Would you be interested? interested? ¿Y el verbo con qué? ING. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos una preposición, cápsula informativa. Cuando utilizan un verbo después de una preposición, in, on, whatever, for, el verbo siempre va con ING. Siempre. Por eso acá la preposición es in y el verbo con ing. Would you be interested in coming, going, reading, cooking, planning, planning, etc. Second, second form. Tell me, what is the second form? Would you like? Would, Would you, you like? like? And the verb? Starting in the base form. Base form. Infinitivo. Infinitive, uh -huh. with the preposition to and the verb go, and the verb in the base form, infinitive. Aquí es la forma infinitiva, to go, to watch, to drink, to eat, to see, to whatever. And the third one? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Y el verb? Let's base, base, base form. form. Let's go, let's see, let's dance, let's eat. So guys, what are we eating today? Let's eat hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing? What are we doing on Saturday? Oops, sorry. Let's go to Catherine's house and play with the scooters. Okay. Questions? No questions? Sure, I, got, I got a question. Tell me. 
when you say meet up, it's like invitations, like something like you would you would you be interested in going something or it's different? Would you say to meet up? No, it depends. Like uh, the, the form of the verb depends on the structure. If you say interested mm -hmm. in, it will be meeting up. Mm -hmm. If you say would you okay. like to, it will be meet up. Would you like, would you like okay. to meet up with me on Saturday? Or would you be interested in meeting up on Saturday? So la forma del verbo depende de la estructura que estén usando. Si están utilizando estrictamente el would you be interested in, el verbo siempre va a ir con ing. 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 Hey Adriana, welcome back. I was looking for you. Oh, si if you want to use would you like to el verbo, I'm sorry, would you like el verbo in 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 very infinite. Infinity, which is the preposition to and the verb, right? Or if you say let's el verbo like for, for no ing, no to, solo el verbo. So depende de la estructura. Yes, Diego. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Anybody? Questions? No questions? And what would be the difference between would you be interested in, would you like, and let's? De estos dos con este, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Uh, el tú. Do. Uh, would you like is more formal. It's formal. Yeah. Yes, it's just, it's just formality. Would you be interested in, would you like, it's more formal, more polite. Like if you are talking to the president, you won't tell the, hey, Mr. President, let's go dancing, right? No. Would you like, or would you be interested in? And let's, that is informal. Formal. With your friends, right, Victor? Let's go to the gym on Saturday, right? I know, yeah, I'm sorry, but... you, have, you have classes on Saturday, so. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> but in, in, in the morning, I don't have class. So. All right, so let's go to the gym on Saturday morning. Yes. All if right. you want to go with me. I would. I would really, wanna, I really <laughs> want to go to the gym. But I don't have that consistency. I go one day, and after the gym, I eat three hamburgers. Oh, yes. And I don't go anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. I in all that uh, invitation is like uh, questions, right? Yeah. All these questions. Okay. Yes. I think that let's is like a a pro, pro, proposal. proposal. Uh -huh, yes. Proposal. Like, let's proposal. go to the, to the party or something. Let's go to the like party. That. Yes. But it, it's question. No, in that case, it's just let's go. Let's do it. It's not a question. You're not asking. That's why it's less formal. That is why it's informal because you are not asking. You are telling. Mm. Right? We're boring. The class finished. The teacher went home. Right? What are we going to do? Let's go to the beach. You're not okay. asking. You are telling. Yeah? You make the proposal. When you say, would you like to? In that case, yes, you are making a question. Okay. Yeah. And uh huh. Yeah. No, it's it's for the second sentences in the let. It's like an interrogant at the end. So I think. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. And, and yes. But okay, right. it's it's clear. Thank you. Teacher. All right. So this is like saying, "Do you want to?" Right. Do you want to go to the movies? Pero la diferencia es la formalidad. Depende con quién estén hablando. Ustedes ya son bien cheros, bien amigos. Le dicen, hey, uh, Alan, do you want to watch a movie today? Right? Why not, Alan? That's a very nice movie I want to watch. So, that's informal with friends. But if it's, it, if it's more formal, would you like to? Vaya. Esta primera y la let's es solo por general knowledge para que las tengan ahí en cuenta. But we are going to focus on would you like to. Okay. Esa es la que vamos a estar 
practicando. And to start with, ah, well, second part, accepting or refusing. Here we have responses. Like Alan said, when I asked him, Alan, would you like to watch a movie? He said, no, plain no. But you could say something like, sorry, I can't. Or I appreciate the invite, but I can't. I have to work. I love to, but I've got other plans. So no quiero ir con vos, tengo mejores cosas que hacer, right? En la manera polit política de decirla. I'm busy this weekend, maybe another time. Cuando le piden a la chica que saca con ustedes, todos los fines de semana están ocupadas. Para usted, para usted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or, if you are lucky enough and the person say yes, you say, sure, I'd love to. Let's go. Or, that sounds great. Or, yes, I like that. Or, that would be great. This is yes, this is no. Politely. Esa es la manera de politely. Do you have any questions about the expressions? No? No. Let's see. I will invite you to do something and then you accept or refuse. It's up to you. If you want to do it, say yes. If you don't want to do it, say no politely. Sergio, yes. would you like playing the drums with me on Saturday? Ah, oh, sorry, I can't. All right, thank you. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It hurts. Let's see. Ah, uh, Xiomara, no, you will say no. <laughs> would you like watching a movie? With us, tal vez íbamos todos, with us on Sunday? Sure, I would love to. Thank you. What movie? Interestelar, my favorite movie. Is it good? Yes. Uh, and that was Sandra it's Bullock. Science fiction. Right? Sandra Bullock, right? No. No. No, Sandra Bullock. Interestelar. Yeah, but who's the, who's the protagonist? Matthew McGonagher. Who? Mm -hmm. Matthew McGonagher. Is, is that a she or a he? A he. he. Who's that guy? I'm old school. I just remember Johnny Depp. Uh, Ken Reeves, my favorite actor. Yeah. All right, but well, let's continue. Catherine, would you like drinking some coffee with us tomorrow night? That sounds great. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. These, would you like uh, to, um, to what? To play soccer with us on Saturday? Yes, I like that. I like that. All right, so that's the way you answer to an invitation. Thank you, ladies. Now I have plans for the weekend. Now we are going to practice here. We are going to write or complete the question and we are going to answer based on the picture. And the question is based on the image too. How would you complete this question? Would you like? To drink. drink. A cup. To drink. A cup of wine. Drink. Mm, Champagne. A cup. Drink. A cup or a glass. A glass of wine. Wine. Champagne. I don't know how to write champagne. <laughs> Something like that. Remember, cup is like the little thing, right? For coffee or cup of coffee, cup of tea. Pero with wine or things like that, it's a glass. It's a glass of wine. And he says, yes. How would you reply? I... I like that. Like, I will like. Yes. That. Yes, I will like. That. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like is the contraction for I would. Would. Esta. I would is the contraction for I would. Mira va. Por acá. All right. Walter, 
Can you ask that question to anybody here? Okay. Victor, would you like to drink a glass of wine? Um, but I answered the true or the, or the picture. Be real. <laughs> um, I appreciate the invite, uh, but I can't. The invite. Invite. Yeah, I don't drink. You don't drink? No, no. I don't like the drink. Okay. Well, you're, you're only, water, only water. Only water. Only water. Yeah. Soda. <laughs> A water without piquete, right? Yes. So you drink ponche without piquete. <clears throat> Do you like ponche, guys? Hey, Catherine, you don't like ponche. Why? I like piquete with ponche. No, ponche with piquete. <laughs> Do you like drink, teacher? No, I don't. <laughs> I go to the church. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Second question. Moving on. Here. <laughs> What's this guy inviting this guy to do? A cup of Would you like to drink? Would you like to? Remember that when we so talk about like drink? eating or drinking, we can also use the verb have. Just for reference, to have a cup of coffee. Let's like have a cup of coffee. With me. And the gentleman responds, No, 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 thank you. Thank I you. Could, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't. I? I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't like. You sure? No, I wouldn't like is not, not like. It doesn't sound right. So I like. Maybe another like, time. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Or maybe another time. No, thank you. Let's keep it. No, thank you. The third one. Would you like to have a burger? Would you like to? To have a hamburger. Would you like to have a hamburger? And he responds. I'm sorry. Um, no, I wouldn't. No. No, I wouldn't. no. Give an excuse. Remember, try to use one of these expressions. Maybe another time. Because I'm showing. <laughs> All right. No, or let's say. Sorry. I can. I can. Sorry. Maybe. Maybe. Another time. Another time. I'm on a diet. Sorry. Okay. The third one. Teacher, to eat or, or only eat a hamburger? Ah. To eat. Very good, very good. Estamos viendo que están poniendo atención. Remember, that's my strategy. If we use it, we use ing. No, when we all, always remember the structure, would you like to always? Yes, Sergio? Nothing. <laughs> it wasn't you? Siempre que usamos el would you like, el verbo va con el to. Remember that. Would you like to eat a hamburger? Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe another time. The last one. Would you like to eat, to drink a tea? A tea? Yeah. Oh, would you like to drink, let's say, some tea? Some tea. Uh, I'm going to say, aquí, cápsula informativa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> En la nueva palabra que aprendí hoy. Thanks you, Dora. Thank you, Dora. Freshman. Remember, these are uncountable things. No podemos contar el líquido, ¿verdad? Y acordémonos que A quiere decir uno. Entonces, si digo T, puedo decir, Would you like to have some tea? Coffee. Would you like to drink some coffee 
would you like to have when the refreshment si un refresco dos refrescos vamos a quitar esto a poner ah soda would you like to have some soda si no voy a mencionar o si, si no lo estoy como contando aquí me estoy refiriendo a líquido verdad te gustaría tomar té café o soda si lo quiero contabilizar sí Mario all of these are question or affirmation no these are invitations okay. <laughs> sorry <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But if you want to contabilize, you can say, Would you like to have a cup of coffee? Aquí sí. But I'm not talking about the coffee. I'm talking about the cup. Estoy contabilizando el recipiente. Uh, would you like to have a cup of tea? Oh, would you like to have a glass of soda? Yep. In these cases, we use a, but because of the uh, recipiente, no el líquido. Okay? I have a question. Yes, Catherine. Um, si estamos hablando de la lata de soda, no le podríamos decir. Can of soda. Thank you. Can of soda. Mm -hmm. Can of soda. Yeah. All right. So here, what's the answer? He say yes. Would you like to have to drink some tea? It'd be yes, great. I like it. Yes, I, I like. Yes, I like that. it. Yes, I love it. I like that. I like that. Yes, it sounds great, etc. Okay. Oh, no. Difficult? No, right? Teacher. Yes. Be, um, because they are that. Uh, yes, I like that. Yes, I like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Por qué le agregan that al final? Ah, porque así. está haciendo así como literalmente diría, sí, me gustaría hacerlo. No me gustaría. Eso. I like that. Porque si solo digo I like, pero el qué, o sea, queda incompleto. Ah. Entonces, uh -huh. I like that. Me gustaría. Teacher. Yo. The pronunciation, uh, the correct pronunciation is that be great. That would be great. That would you have that 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 would be great. You have to make that would be great. That 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 you made this that would be great. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank I saw you moving, moving your lips. I can't read lips yet. I'm trying, but I can't. All right. No questions? No? No. Here. Yeah, Walter? No, 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 no. Okay, so. Hmm. Oh, there was another one here. This one. Tell me the question. You like? Try to use another verb. Try to use another verb. No eat, no have, no another thing. Like to prepare. All right. Would you like to prepare with me? Uh, I would say to to prepare. Okay. Ya no es excelente, excelente. Está funcionando la estrategia. <laughs> to prepare a pizza with me? Answer? No, I I don't like it. I if you say I I if you want to say negative, I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. 
How do you say no? Soy vegetarian. <laughs> I'm vegetarian. Oh, no, sorry, I'm vegetarian. I would I, not. I would not. Uh, yeah. 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 I wouldn't like that. I'm sorry, I don't like you, and I wouldn't like that. Mm -hmm. No me caes bien, sorry. No. Mm -hmm. Next. But it's uh, I in the second in the answer, I I think that it, is a not like because it's a negative. Oh yeah, sorry. Wouldn't. 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 Ven como hago que salgan de ustedes, ¿verdad? Don't say anybody. <laughs> All right, and the last one. Would you like to eat Would you like to orange have, juice? Uh, and the verb? To do. To have. 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 Would you like to have some orange juice? Yes. I agree. That sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. And you can turn them into margaritas. I know that's a cola limonada. All right. Easy. Now, remember yesterday we talked about future continuous. What is the structure again, Maricela? The future continuous is the one that plus base and G. For example, Maria is flying to London tomorrow. And don't forget the time expression, right? So Maria, I'm flying to London tomorrow. She is here today. Tomorrow she will be flying to London. Now. Teacher, regrese yes. la pantalla anterior, please. Here. One moment, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I want to give you one minute to write plans for this coming weekend with the present progressive. Write them down. What are you doing on the weekend? Think about activities and write them down. Like for example, I am visiting, visiting my son. On Saturday, Saturday, I am taking my son to the beach on Sunday. I am traveling to San Vicente on Saturday night. This is real. If you want to go, you are invited to go. Let's go to... I'm going to go to San Vicente acá, no? No es en ese grupo. Me too. Me too. Oh, so I see you on Saturday. I'll be there. Let's go to La Disco. That it's in front of the park. You know it? Yes. I yeah. know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. <laughs> But it's a nice place. It's bastante tranquilo, la verdad. Mm. Finish, Alan. Are you here? What are you, my friend? What are you thinking about? <laughs> are you okay? Teacher, one question. Tell me, Jose. In, in Spanish, 
What the meaning I am visiting my son on Saturday? Visiting? Like I go to the house. My son, my, my baby son. Uh, o sea que ahí está diciendo yo, yo voy a visitar mi, mis hijos el, el sábado. Only one. Mi hijo. My son. My son. Hijo sería sons. It will be, if you want to, the, the literal translation is like, visitaré uh -huh. a mi hijo el sábado. Porque si le ponemos el voy a visitar, ahí es con el going to. Vamos a ver después. Pero aquí, a visitaré a mi hijo el sábado. Uh -huh. Ready? You have a list five? At least five people. Maricela? Finish? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, Sergio, what are you doing on the weekend? Tell me too. I am washing my car on Saturday. I am preparing for a presentation with my band on Sunday. Really? Yes. For what are you the... playing? August 4th. August the 4th. Yes. Where? Um, Bosque del Rio in Soyapango. I'm sorry, I can't go. I would love to, but I can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soyapango. Yeah. Maybe in 10 years. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, uh, Jose, what are you doing on the weekend? I am play I am playing soccer with my with my me with my little little ones on on Sunday. One more. I am playing soccer with my little ones on Sunday. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect, but give me another one. Oh, one okay. more. Mm -hmm. I am watching TV with my with my family and on weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. How about you, Gabriela? Okay, I'm preparing a soup on Saturday. I am buying what a soup or what kind of soup? Uh, tortilla soup. Oh, are we invited? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am visiting my grandmother on Sunday. Where does your grandmother live? In Tonacatepeque. Okay. La Toma. Near La Toma. I know no, that is Alta. La Toma is in the Alta. Alta. Uh, where's, where's Tonacatepeque? Near to uh, Popa. Oh, that's why I don't know. I, I mm -hmm. have a Por question for Gabriela. Gonna... Yes, there you go. Gabriela, you put uh, chicken in the tortilla soup? Yes. Oh, mm. Now I want it more. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio. Yes. Yes. Uh, when we talk about when we are cooking, it's not actually, yeah, yeah, we can say put, but it's a little bit more appropriate to say add. Do you what add? Is it, do you what is add the correct? Chicken? Add, what is the correct? Add, like agregar. The thing is that put is literally put something, right? Oh. Put the cell phone ah, on the table. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah, that ADD. Is ADD. ADD, yeah. Oh, okay. And how would you make that question? Because you didn't ask a question. You made an affirmation. Okay. How would you make the question? Oh, uh, Carolina, you do you add okay. a, chick, a chicken and... Ah, yes, I'm going to do you add chicken to the soup or in the soup? Yeah. Yo creí que iba a ser sopa de pata. Ahí sí hubiera llegado aunque fuera popa. Yeah. Victor, how about you? Um, on Saturday, in the morning, I'm doing exercise and then I must travel 
to the university for Wait. studying in the afternoon. All right, all right, all right, right. But always the 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 with the structure, keep I mean, uh keep it on on, on using the present progressive. I'm yes, going always. to the gym and in the afternoon I am I am. Yes, I am uh, starting in the afternoon. Yeah, there you go. And then I, I must travel to universities that are complement. Right? All right. Okay. Uh -huh. But if you say it with and, the teacher from, how would you say it? Um, I am traveling to the university. I'm traveling I'm to traveling. the university. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Now that you have it, I would I would uh, send you to the breakup rooms five minutes and just share your plans for the weekend. Keep notes because when you come back, you will report to me what your classmates told you. Pero no se enfoquen tanto en escribir, sino que en speak. Traten de memorizar lo que les dicen. I want you to speak. Right? Go. Um, on Saturday, I'm going mm -hmm. to give a Bible class to children and you. What are you doing in your weekend? Teacher. Yes, hi. <laughs> jump, jump. No, solo le quería comentar la primera captura de pantalla que tomó. No tenía la cámara encendida because I was eating, so estoy preocupada. Si ya luego toma la otra. Mm, de veras. But don't worry, I'll take it on the second one. No, a regañar. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Ok. Ustedes Bien, siempre Paola. están practicando y todo, don't worry. Ok. Pao, um, the Saturday I'm going to... I go to the I go to I go into the gym in the morning. After uh, I go to um, running in the park, and also I shopping. I am shopping in the supermarket, and then um, I cleaning my house and with my boyfriend. <laughs> And, um, we visiting new place up night with eating a new restaurant and you Tatiana what are you doing uh, this weekend um, I I am visiting my uncle because es su cumpleaños Herma his, his uncle, his his, his birthday. Is his birthday. Uh -huh. So I am I am going to celebrate, celebrate. with my my family, and later I am coming back to my home, and I watching TV. Later I. 
I am sleeping all night. And you, Maria Jose, what are you the weekend? What are you doing the weekend? Ladies, just one thing. Remember, focus with the ING. And going to try to leave it aside for the moment. Dejémoslo patito. Como la que dijeron, vamos a celebrar. So instead of saying we are celebrating, uh, celebrate, you can say we are celebrating his birthday. O cuando dijimos, I'm going to, I'm going to run or go running. Podemos decir, I'm running. In the afternoon, I am running in the park. Uh -huh. Sin el going to. So good job. Keep on, keep on practicing. If I bad, okay. uh, but do you have a car to to travel uh, at those planets and then to Sierra Delgado or not? Yes, I have a long time. I have a long day <laughs> on Saturday. Yes. And do you have a car? Yes, I have a car. Uh, it's more easy, right? Yes. <laughs> Easier. Easier. Easier, easier. Uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Easier. And what are you doing on, on Monday? On Monday, hmm, maybe no. Yeah, I need. Uh, I'm. I'm traveling. I need traveling to my university. And prepare. My, I'm to prepare my exam. I'm preparing. I'm preparing to my exam. And maybe eat out. Eating out. Eat Is that out. correct? Eating out, out. Yeah. Eating out with my friends, and that's that's one thing. Uh, yeah. It's a good way to begin in the week. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what about you, Rosibel? What are you doing in the afternoon? Uh, in the afternoon, I am busy. I am visiting. Uh, to my mom and um, then uh, I am I am doing a, a homework and then uh, I am studying studying uh, the class uh, in the afternoon um, in the night, no, in the evening, uh, I am preparing uh, the dinner for my, for me and for my family. More late, uh, maybe later. I more late. later on. You can say lay, later, later on. Later. Later on. Ah, later, later, later. Late, later. <laughs> Later on, later on. Later, later on. Uh -huh. Um, I maybe I watching a TV with my uh, husband and my child. <laughs> uh, Gabriela, what are you doing? Um, uh, ah, what happened? Why are you so quiet? Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, Alan. Uh, when I do the things with my hands, is making or doing? What things? Like homework. Homework is do. Why? Think about it. I mean, uh, making it's more about 
creating something, building okay. something. But when it's okay. more physical or mental, it's it's like do. Like you do okay. exercise, it's physical work. Okay. You do homework, mental work. And when when the activities don't require too much, or cuando no se está haciendo algo nuevo de algo, entonces okay. you don't do. Because even the laundry, you don't say make the laundry, sino que I do the laundry. Okay. Do the dishes. Uh-huh. And okay. make the... is more like I make my breakfast. Yeah, because okay. you you create something. Okay. And I have another question. Yeah. Who um, ¿Cómo voy a responderle a usted luego? O sea, de lo que mis compañeros me dijeron. Entonces, oh. she is going to the, yeah. Like yeah. Just remember, Adriana. just remember, no, you don't have to use going to that much unless you are saying that the person is going to one place. Adriana is going to the park. No, no, no. Me refiero a she uh, Adriana is going to buy but uh, that that's what I'm saying yeah the first part is right Adriana is because she's third person uh -huh. subject verb to be but the next part is the verb in ing so estamos okay. going to cuál es el, cuál es la acción principal que va a realizar ella buying all right so she is she is Adriana is buying new shoes for example on Saturday. Okay. Seeing okay. I'm going to. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And teacher, in the case, use going to the market. I yeah. use. Yeah, because you are going okay. to the market. Okay. Or you can say, no, she's shopping in the market. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. the main, the main thing is that you have to use the subject verb to be and the activity with the ing. See, sí, mm -hmm. going to is para futuro, but it's a different structure. Right now, focus on present continuous. Okay. Adriana is shopping in the supermarket. She is buying groceries. Mm -hmm. And then she is traveling to San Vicente or to Santa Ana to visit her family. She mm -hmm. is cooking for her family at night. She is having some dinner with her family. And later on at night, she is dancing with her boyfriend or husband, whatever, like that. Okay. But siempre con el ING, no going to. Okay. Por ahora, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Continue. I think we're going back right now. <clears throat> So Sergio, tell me. Yes. What did your 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 classmates tell you? Uh, my classmate Alan is going to the church on Saturday. Repeat. Alan is going to mm -hmm. the church on Saturday. All right. Alan is watching TV series in the afternoon and. Alan is doing the homework on Saturday. Sunday. Perfect. Saturday. Perfect. Mario? Hello, teacher. But in the breaker room that I uh, was in, um, I was with um, Dora, and Dora told me that um, on Saturday she visited her mother and they prepare pupusas. And on Sunday, uh, she is going to uh, stay with you, with her family, I remember. So that's it. Okay, Mario, but what did you miss on those answers? ¿Qué le faltó? The ING. ING. So, She is going. Ok. 
when we have knowledge of something, it gets a little bit more complicated not to combine, but remember. Teacher, right? can you share your screen, please? Oh, yeah, okay. sorry. What is it? Here it is. No se calisha la compu. Anyhow. So, yes. Vaya. Desespanolicémonos for a moment. Porque lo, lo que pasa es que como pensamos like a, a ponerle el boy a todo y ahí es cuando queremos usar, bueno, número uno, ahí es cuando queremos usar el go o el going. Vaya, futuro. Uy, teacher. En sí, está going to. Y en ese caso solo decimos I am going to visit my family. Esto está totalmente correcto. Excelente. Sin embargo, en este momento estamos trabajando con el futuro del presente continuo. Continuous. Así que aquí... El going to como auxiliar de futuro no va. ¿Sí? A menos que la actividad de la que yo esté hablando es ir, o sea, moverme del lado, e a, la, del lado a al lado B, ahí sí puedo decir, como dijo Sergio, I am going to the church. Ajá. iré a la iglesia pero si la actividad que voy a realizar no tiene nada que ver con moverme del lado A al lado B no ocupo go sino que ocupo el verbo de la actividad que voy a realizar eh, por ejemplo visitaré I am visiting my grandma Comeré. I am eating with my friends. No se olviden siempre que vuelvan al verbo eat, no poner el with porque se comen con los amigos, no se comen a los amigos. I am eating with my friends. O si estoy hablando de... Eh, Deme un ejemplo, Mario, de los que le dijeron. Stay with her eh, family. Who was it? Dora o Paola, who was it? ¿Quién, quién era? Me. All right. Stay, stay with the family. So, let's say, on Saturday, Dora is staying with her family. Yeah. Family. So, stay. Ella se quedará con la familia. Yes. Otro que le dijeron. Celebrating teacher. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh, Paola was right. No, Tatiana. Oh, Tatiana. Mm. Tatiana is celebrating her father's birthday por ejemplo ay, ay. father's Tatiana is celebrating uh -huh. Vaya, aquí es donde como ya conocemos la otra estructura la combinamos y decimos Tatiana is going to Celebrate her father's birthday. Y está perfectamente correcto. Solo que estamos utilizando otra estructura. Ajá, el going to, que es otro. Aquí sí, aquí sí es, aquí digo yo, Tatiana, si le queremos ver la traducción literal, sí, Víctor. Tatiana celebrará. Ajá. Y aquí Tatiana va a celebrar. 
¿Sí? ¿Me da diferencia? Yes, yes. Mr. Eh, teacher, eh, a, a Susana says that you take the second attendance. What time is it? Espérense que arruiné la compu. <risa> Por estar travesieiren. Ok. Y me seguen. Eh, aquí está. Oh. Yes. Y la otra. Aquí está. Entonces, ahora sí ya les quedó un poquito clearer. O sea, o sea, no estoy diciendo que no esté correcto. ¿Sí? Están utilizando el going to perfectamente, pero en este momento, para enfocarnos con la estructura y que les quede bien clara, es de presente continuo. Solo es el verbo to be con el siguiente verbo en ing. ¿Yes? Vamos yes. a ver. Thank you, teacher. Para, para I have a question. Yes. En el caso de que me pregunten o, o puedo responder con el going to, tengo que responder. O sea, porque como dice, what were you doing? O sea, tengo que responder, I am, yeah. No, Most yeah. of the time, the question represents the answer. Okay. Tell you. So, Alan, what are you doing on Saturday? Not much. I'm just, I'm staying at home watching TV. Okay. But I, I can it. ask you, so what are your plans? What are you going to do next weekend? I'm going to visit going my family. To, okay, I got it. What will you do tomorrow? I will travel to whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Y también lo que pasa es que cada, cada estructura tiene como que su uso más específico. Going to es para hablar de algo bastante planeado, perdón, planeado con bastante anticipación. O sea, yo puedo hablar ahorita de los planes que tengo para Navidad. What are you going to do on Christmas? Um, this to, um, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. El will es para, al, para hacer una, 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 una. ¿Qué es lo que hacen los, 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 los adivinos? Yes, prediction. 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 Para ver una, pre, para ver, para hacer una predicción. Voy a jugar a la lotería and I will make a lot of money. ¿Sí? O para algo que decido en este momento. Ok, I will go to the bathroom. Lo acabo de decidir. No había ningún algo, plan. Algo espontáneo. Espontáneo, thank you, Melvin. Ajá. Y el presente progresivo es para un plan un poco más a corto plazo. Uh -huh. eso. Por eso depende de lo que esté tratando de decir la estructura que voy a usar. Si les pregunto, what are, you, what are you doing tomorrow? No es algo que hayan planificado desde el año pasado, ¿verdad? sino que es algo que eh, se me puede ocurrir. I'm watching a movie. Pero ya si les pregunto, ok, so, what are you going to do for August vacations? Ay, te saco la lista. I'm going, to the, I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to eat a lot of food. I'm going to go to whatever. Uh -huh. O les puedo preguntar, What will you do after the class? No lo tenía planeado. Se lo, se lo tiene que decir ahorita. I will sleep. I will go to work. Porque es algo así espontáneo, como dijo Melvin. Uh -huh. Esas son como que las tres diferencias más básicas de los tres tiempos. Right. Any more questions? No? All right. So now we're going to combine your plans. Ay, no sé qué le hice a la compu. Se me quedó así. De lado. Anyway. Okay. So, here. Do you see it? No. No. No lo ven. Yes or no? No. Here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have a plan here. We're going to practice the invitations and accepting, refusing, and the present continuous. This is your plan. You're going to make a, a very short dialogue. 
con un pequeño saludo. For example, Adriana, help me. Hi, Adriana. Hi, teacher. How are Hi. you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. Just thinking about Saturday, you know, I'm going to the park. Oh, I'm sorry, thinking about what I will do uh, in this afternoon. And, you know, I'm going to the park. Would you like to go with me? Yes, that sounds, that sounds great. Okay, so what if we meet at 2 p.m.? Is that a good time for you? Yes, it's a good time for me. All right, so I see you at 2. See you. Like that. Short, precise, con saludo, plan, y todo lo demás. ¿Quién quiere darle? Me, o son no está Yes, me. And okay, Victor. Brother. Who oh, wants good. to help Victor? Nobody. Mario, you want to do it? Okay, Victor and Mario. Yes. Go. Okay. Hello, uh, Victor. Hello, Mario. How are you? I am very fine. And what about you? Everything is okay. I uh, I play uh, I playing uh, uh, I I I planning go to the park uh, this afternoon. Do you uh, would you like to go with me? Mm, that sounds great, but uh, I have uh, other plans uh, with my sister, and so maybe another another occasion. <laughs> Another okay. day. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Good job. Good job. Walter and Idelin. This one. Okay. Hi, Nandelin. How are you? Hi, Walter. I'm very good. Yes. Just... Sorry, repeat, repeat. I don't listen uh, to you. Pick up. Repeat. Wait. Uh, hello, Walter. I'm very good. And you? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, would you like to go with the cinema with me today? Mm, that sounds good. I... Okay. See you later. What happened? Wait, I didn't I didn't hear you were breaking up. Do it again. One more time. You were breaking up. Um, Se les okay. estuvo cortando. Ah, okay. Okay. Hi Nadeline, how are you? Hello, Walter. Hello, Walter. I'm very good. And you, how are you? I am fine. Would you like to go with the cinema with me? Uh, yes, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's see at nine o'clock. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. That was better. That was better. Very good. Very good. Very good. Gabriela and Melvin. The last ones for today. Gabi? Melvin? Yes. Melvin. Hi, Melvin. How are you? Oh, this one. Uh, I am good. And you? I'm fine. I'm wondering if would you like to have lunch with me? Mm, yes, I would like that. Mm. Okay. We can see at 2 p.m. Mm. Sounds great. Um, I see you at 6 p.m. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Why are you so shy? Porque están tan tímidos. 
Ahí le podría decir, would you like to have lunch with me? Yeah, of course. Where are we going? Oh, let's go to La Pampa Argentina. Okay, and who's paying? You are paying because you are the man. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. It's time's up. Class is over. Do you have any questions for today? No questions? No, teacher. Uh, it's all good. Teacher, tomorrow uh, presentation the the dialogue. Uh huh. Dialogue. Adriana, you also you are missing the conversation, right? Okay. Are you couple? Both of Paola and me. All right. So you do it tomorrow. Remind me. Okay. Remind Senia me is my partner. Okay. You do I it don't tomorrow. Have a partner, teacher. You don't have a partner. No. So write down the dialogue by yourself. Send it to me, and I will help. Okay. Thank you. Yo tampoco tengo. So, uh, Alan, get in touch with Adriana and do it together. Okay. 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 Anybody else? No. Nope. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for coming today. It was a pleasure to see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye. 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 No, I did, I did, I took it. Sí, la tomé. Y yo no okay. le voy a avisar para que tengo la cámara encendida siempre. Ok. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.